Hey, John for Cowan back here at the 2021 Oil Sands Conference and Trade Show. Uh, the demo I'm going to show you now is our soft close demo. So, where in this in this situation, we've got the E2H program to once it hits a certain set point to slow down to uh, to prevent basically water hammer. So, we'll take a look here. We've got our set point set at 25%, which means that once it hits that 25% set point, it will slow down. And in this case, I've got it set to uh, slow down to 10% of its original uh, speed. So let's go ahead and, and run the demo. So you can see it's traveling at regular speed, and once it hits that set point, it'll start to slow down, and you get a nice soft uh, closing sequence there. All right, so the next point I want to mention is the energy efficiency of the E2H uh, series. Uh, with our design, the motor only spins when the valve moves. As you can see right now, it's an it's idle state. It's, it's consuming very little power, just basically uh, monitoring the display and the system's ready to go. If I hit the open button, for example, you can see it fires up right away. It's still very quiet and uh, the, the motor is spinning to, to get that, uh, the actuator into the position it needs to be in. The next thing I'm going to show you is the accuracy of the system. We've got a little demo here where if you want to zoom in, we got it set to 25% and we're going to do eight cycles. So what this is going to do is it's going to go to full open and then it's going to uh, close the valve to that 25% setting and, uh, and then repeat. And with this system here, the dead band accuracy uh, can be set down to 0.1% of stroke. So it's very, very, uh, uh, very accurate. So we'll run the demo. See the valve goes to full open. and it'll ramp down and, and nicely hit that 25%. This is very repeatable because it's a hydraulic based system. The oil is very, very incompressible. It's easy to repeat that, uh, that set point position. If you want to look up here, we've got on our screen, we're showing the set point in case I got my, in this case I got my 25% and the position actual, you can see it's ramping down to 25 and we're hitting 2504, 2505. So within that tolerance of 0.1%, of, uh, of the stroke requirement. These settings can be, uh, can be adjusted. These are for the demo, um, but any set point that the customer is looking for, the, or the process, I should say, is looking for uh, can, can be set and achieved, uh, especially handy in a, in a control valve application such as this. Okay, next we'll talk about partial stroke test, which is a standard feature of these uh, electrohydraulic actuators. So partial stroke, if you've got a valve that's closed uh, for a long time, you want to make sure you can still break that seat and open that valve and this is a great feature and this is something you can automate and have it run on a, on a schedule uh, if, if you want to. So I'm going to show that right now. In this particular example I've got it set to 20% so the valve is right now at 100% closed and uh, I'm going to run the partial stroke test. It's going to crack it open to that 20% setting and then, and then go back. So let's hit the button. See the valve lifts off the uh, seat and then closes back again. That set point at 20% can be adjustable, so if you wanted to do 15, for example, you just click on the button here and uh, change that to 15, hit enter. Now it's 15%. I can run the test again. And, and so on. Okay, so now we'll talk about the uh, construction of the actuator. So moving to the back side here, we've got our motor that's connected directly to our pump. It's a gear pump that is coupled to our manifold. Our manifold has all our hydraulic components, PO check valves and that kind of thing, as well as various sensors that monitor uh, temperature of the oil, pressure in the actuator on both sides, as well as position uh, throughout the entire length of stroke. Then we have our actuator and reservoir up here, and then finally our, our control box. So like I said earlier, um, very energy efficient design. When it gets into position, the motor will stop spinning. Um, until, until it gets a command to, uh, to go to the next point. Complete specifications and data sheets are available off our website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about our electrohydraulic technology, check out the description below and the links to some of our other videos. Thanks and bye for now.